We're going to do a reading of Psalm chapter 50, where the theme in the Life Application Study Bible for the King James Version says, the contrast between true and false faith. The Most High desires sincere thanks, trust, and praise. The author is Asaph, one of King David's chief musicians. We're going to see that what has happened is happening now. This is a contrast between what the Israelites believe and what the Gentiles believe, because we have been told lies within Christianity, Catholicism, and Islam. The mighty power, even the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh has spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun until the going down thereof. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, the Most High have shined. Our power shall come and shall not keep silence. A fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very tempestuous round about him. He shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth, that he may judge his people. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heavens shall declare his righteousness, for the Most High is judge himself. Selah. Hear, O my people, I will speak, O Yisrael, and I will testify against thee. I am the Most High, even thy power. So we see here that the saints are the Israelites. We see in verse 5, Gather my saints together unto me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. The only people that have made a covenant with the Most High by sacrifice are the Israelites. We're the only ones that have a covenant. Gentiles do not have a covenant. And it is expressly identified in verse 7. Hear, O my people, and I will speak, O Yisrael, and I will testify against thee, I am the Most High, even thy power. Right now we're going to go on and read verse 8. And it reads, I will not reprove thee for thy sacrifices or thy burnt offerings to have been continually before me because it has ceased because we've been out of the land. Verse 9, I will take no bullock out of thy house nor he goats out of thy foals. For every beast of the forest is mine, and the cattle upon a thousand hills. Which means the Lord, everything belongs to the Lord. Verse 11, I know all the fowls of the mountains, and the wild beasts of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell thee, for the world is mine, and the fullness thereof. Will I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Offer unto the Most High thanksgiving and pay thy vows unto the Most High and call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me. But unto the wicked, the Most High said, what hast thou to do to declare my statutes or that thou should have taken my covenant in thy mouth? Talking about those Gentiles, those, those Asians, Arabs and Europeans and Africans. Verse 17, seeing thou hatest instruction and casteth my words behind thee because all of Christianity, Catholicism and Islam says you don't have to follow any of the laws. When thou sawest a thief, then thou consentest with him and hast been partaker with adulterers. Thou givest thy mouth to evil and thy tongue frameth deceit. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Thou slandereth thine own mother's son. You see, and this is what the, 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 the these, these so-called pastors, apostles, and preachers are doing out here. They're lying. Okay, this goes on to verse number 21. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such an one as thyself. You see, this is what these Gentiles think, but they're wrong. 
but I will reprove or correct thee and set them in order before thine eyes. What is the setting in order? He places within our spirit to obey the law, statute, commandments, and the faith of a Mashiach Yahweh Shai. This is what he does. Now consider this, ye that forget the Most High, lest I tear you in pieces and there be none to deliver. Whosoever author praise glorifieth me, and to him that ordereth his conversation aright, will I show the salvation of the Most High. Now what is ordereth his conversation? It means to order his conduct. How do we order our conduct? By obeying the laws, statutes, and commandments, and the faith of Moshe Yahushua, which no one on the planet presently is doing but the repentant Israelites. This has been a reading of Psalms chapter 50. I leave you in the most capable hands of the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai.